The real problems came after you two left. The injured had nobody to turn to since our doctor had run off and his assistant had died. Now, we've got to rely on that old Mr. Handy for most of our medical needs. And he hasn't exactly got the best bedside manner. Ever had an examination from someone with cold, metal pincers? You don't want to! You've got to change the Overseer's mind. I never thought you'd be back. You've got to change the Overseer's mind. How may I serve you, mistress? Ah, another patient! What's it to be, eh? Appendectomy? Tonsillectomy? Hysterectomy? Ah, yes, a rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The big one. Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate. The leg. Yeah, I'm sorry to say the operation was... Uh, not a, uh, success. But of course, with your father's departure from the vault and Jonas's untimely demise, the overseer had to take swift action. <laughs> and so he named me the new vault medical practitioner. A marvelous decision, if I do say so myself. I am fully equipped, after all. Um, actually, uh, no. Uh, I'm afraid I've been, uh, what's the human term? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, um, fired. I've been reassigned to cleaning detail. My first duty is, somewhat ironically, cleaning the clinic. Ah, oh, but surgery was fun while it lasted. Of course, of course, don't let me keep you. with such petty affairs. My work is my life. And, as you can see, I've been quite busy.